Welcome back to Moda Style. Today, I'm going to show you how I made privacy window screens for my studio. The screens let in all the natural light while maintaining complete privacy from your neighbors. It's super easy and inexpensive with no sewing, drilling, and it's pretty to look at inside and out. You will need a plastic shower curtain with a pattern of your choice. Two tension curtain rods per window screen. First aid waterproof tape. A ruler. Utility knife. Binder clips. Painter's tape. Rubbing alcohol and a cutting mat. Here is a very basic and poorly drawn diagram of the window and what the screen will look like. To measure out the width of the screen, you will need to subtract the width of the two rubber ends of the rods. My window screen width ended up being 17 inches wide, but yours will be different depending on your window. Because the shower curtain is large and slippery, you will want to fold it into fourths horizontally and clip the corners and edges together. Spend some time on this because it will determine how straight your lines are. The smoother and flatter your curtain is clipped, the more even your screen will be when you cut it. Once you have everything even, you're going to tape your curtain to your cutting mat using the grid lines to square up the curtain. You'll then use your ruler and cut your curtain to width. The tape and the clips will prevent the curtain from moving around while you're cutting it. Once that is done, you're going to cut the top and the bottom into the desired length. Since you're just cutting through one layer, you don't need to tape it down, but you do want to square it up again to the grid lines. Once your cuts are done, clean off any dust or oil with the rubbing alcohol. This will also help make the tape adhere better. Line up the top of the curtain to the grid and tape in place. This first aid tape was perfect for this project. It's durable and waterproof, and it has the same frosted look of the shower curtain. I found this one at the dollar store in the first aid section. Now you're going to flip it over and line it up again and fold it down to make a pocket for the curtain rod. Once again, using the tape and the grid lines makes this really easy. Do the same for the bottom curtain rod. And this is the finished look. I love how the light shines through. It looks like it's glowing. And it's so much prettier in person. And it even has complete privacy at night with the lights on inside. 
this is what it looks like from the outside. I hope you try this. Thanks for watching.